Good morning, brethren. <clears throat> Thank you, Brother Levain. Now, this is, was meant to be an introduction for Brother Givens' sermon last week. Assurance and realities to come. And we can safely put assurance in anything that is real. Anything that is real, but that doesn't mean that anything that is seen, anything that is real, that is to say, anything that is based on the solid foundation of Christ. Now, realities to come is one of those things that we can put our assurance in. John 14, 2 says, In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Now, we looked at this in a general sense at the men's meeting, this past men's meeting. And mansions are in the elite, higher end spectrum of buildings, structures. That's to say that not every common person has one. Well, do you want some good news, brethren? I'll take, I'll take an answer as a yes, because we're going to have one in glory. But here's the key. We will have to, with patience, wait for it. Assurance assists us in this. Now, Keith, Keith Green is a songwriter, and the lyrics and tunes to his song is a breath of fresh air and the supposedly Christian songs today. And he once said this, If God created, God created the world in six days, I don't know if this, there were six literal days or not, but that's not up to me to dictate. But I know this, if God created this world in six days and 2,000 years ago said he was going to prepare a place for us, referring to John 14 too, then this world is limited production compared to what's coming. <clears throat> so here's something to think about. We've been going through science and we've been learning about atoms. Basic building blocks of the universe. And they are little bitty. Say so take this, the thickness of this bulletin or your, your page in the Bible or notebook. Maybe as many as a trillion atoms thick. So that, that's like a one with 12 zeros after it. That number looks incredible. Write it down. A one with 12 zeros after it. And then the atoms themselves, the individual ones, are made up of three different parts. The protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now this redefines time. Each of those subatomic particles are made up of even smaller parts, smaller pieces. Does this not boggle your mind? I mean, so little bitty, infinitesimal. And then we can go from that to snowflakes of the countless numbers of snowflakes that have fallen in the history of the world, no two have been alike. Then we can go from this to Niagara Falls, which dumps hundreds of thousands of gallons of water over its edge every second. Now all these things that we see, or don't see for that matter, God created in six days. Now, all of it was playing painstakingly planned and then created by God in only six days. So, moving on to realities to come, and one of them, and that's the judgment. Here are some texts that illustrate. Matthew 12, chap chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. The day of judgment is reserved for the last time. Now, Matthew says that every word, every idle word that they say, will, they will give account for it in the last day. Now I looked idle word, idle word up and found this, lacking worth or basis. It's idle. It's vain. So anything idle is anything that doesn't have substance. Now every detail... Nothing is going to be covered in a general sense in judgment. Nothing is going to be just glossed over in the judgment. Every detail of every man's life will go under God's scrutinizing eye. Nothing will pass from being seen. Nothing will be overlooked. Now this text from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, this is very interesting. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved under fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Now that's to say heaven or sky. 
the heavens and earth which are now. There's no eternal element to these heavens and earth. There's, there's nothing eternal about them. The text says that they're reserved for fire. Every element will melt with fervent heat. Now, they are, they are the proving ground for glory. This heavens and this earth, which will pass away. They're just a proving ground. Now, this, is, this will be my last point, but here's another reality in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found under the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Now this reality is appearing spotless before Christ's throne. Just a spot. No spot. No wrinkle. No blemishes. Like perfect. Perfection when we appear before Christ's throne. Now God won't accept anything before Him that's contrary to His nature. And we must, we too must be clean and spotless. We, we will be no exception. No one will be no one will appear before God that isn't spotless and stay there. So, going from what we've gone over in the realities to come, from, what I, from the examples that I gave in the earth, I'd say that we have a lot to look forward to, brethren. Because if this world was created in six days, 2,000 years ago, he said he was going to prepare a place for us. If it were not so, he would have told us. Which means that this is no, it's, it's not going to be any small thing that's going to be in glory. So I'm going to close with this last text in Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heavens and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea.